Hey folks, welcome to Nomadic Life with Morning Forest. Look at this beautiful location that I am in. Okay, this week's video, I'm going to give you four great tips on how to organize your RV. After three and a half years living this lifestyle, I have actually come up with several ways to organize your RV. I'm going to give you four tips to help you show you the inside of my RV on how I organize it and we'll see if you can get some tips to help you out for your lifestyle being nomadic or not stay tuned folks stay and this is the organization of my clothes i use these little material dividers roll up the clothing just at the right length and as you can see two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve t-shirts and probably about eight long sleeve t-shirts and thermals. I have two, four, six, eight pair of pants and that's just in one cabinet. And for the packing cubes, I put my underwear, probably about 20 pair in here, believe it or not, nice and rolled up. And my trick to getting stuff to fit is actually measuring it. And I can bring it out, even though the cubes aren't this big, so I can bring it out another two inches if I fold my clothing properly. And that gives you two more inches. And in a small space, two inches times this whole space is actually awesome. And the packing cubes go in this space beautifully. Pull one out, you can get what you need. They stay nice and compact. And it's still in the box system. On the other side, I have lots of sweaters. I actually have several pairs of shorts. And then I have my work bag for all of my emergency medical service uniforms. And if I didn't have this bag and have to carry stuff for work, I would be pretty good. A lot of room. I find that organizing twice a year, going with the season really helps to purge your items. And in the kitchen, I use these plastic bins to keep my plates in, keep my salad, collapsible salad bowl right in here. I can just pull it out, pop it out, and that keeps the dishes from rattling a whole lot. Not easy doing stuff one-handed. In this one, I actually use this um, basket here and I put little cardboard dividers in them so I can keep my cups in here. And I pretty much just use cups all the time. I do have a couple long ones up in here that I keep for colder liquids and stuff, but I don't mind just drinking out of any device possible. Keep my coffee up here. This is the stuff I have for that are pre-ground. And then my olive oil, a few other little spices back here. I keep bowls back in this cupboard, back in this part. And I do keep little um, sticky stuff in between them. I keep my teas up top, extra teas. I drink a lot of tea. And all my tops to my lids for my jars. And this is just the nesting pot for the Instapot glass guy. I keep vitamins tucked wherever possible that I take on a daily basis. I have a set of these Stanley stainless steel cups up in here. They don't rattle too much. And what I decided to do was put a bungee cord to this basket and it helps hold everything in. So I don't have to go all the way across and, and it's real easy to unhook from the corner of the baskets and I don't have a problem using it that way. And keep my coffee filters and that's about it. That's, that's all of my kitchen stuff. I don't carry much. I have pots and pans in the big drawer. And for all of my pots and pans, I actually had to move stuff around when I got my Instapot. I got the six quart one, got rid of that because I really didn't have room for that one. And so I got the small one, the three quart one. And so I decided it's best here. And I use all of my dish towels 
for uh, just patting stuff so they don't rattle around. And I have one of the smallest French presses I've ever seen. And so I do wrap that one up in its little dish towel. And it just, so I just kept working at it until everything fit in its spot. Now I actually do have a full size Vitamix, but I stopped carrying it for the time being and went to one of these little uh, bullets until I just didn't have the power for the, so until I get my power situation changed out, I carry my one stainless steel pot up in this, the smallest one I use most frequently just for heating things up and just pack that in and set that right there. I carry one of these guys right here and then my coffee pot. Now this one I actually like the flat top because I actually, when I'm heating up the water, I put the cup upside down on it and the steam pre-wars your cup. It works out pretty good. You get a nice warm cup before you get your coffee into it. Tip number two, have a place for everything where its permanent home is. I don't know how many times I've lost small items by just saying, oh, I'll just set it here until I get to the place where I can organize it. And then it's lost. It's gone. But look at this beautiful fall sunrise. This was absolutely fabulous. Stay tuned, folks. We've got more coming up. And in the kitchen, I actually have my little coffee grinder sits right here nice. All of my bamboo wooden spoons on one side. And this works out pretty good. I learned right off the bat when camping, and I couldn't start a fire because I didn't have any matches or anything. So I carry this just to start a campfire if I ever so choose to, which is not very often. And so that's how I carry my silverware and all of that. And for the microwave, I don't use often. I actually put my cast iron pot up here, put a little protector on it. And I use a placemat to put the one platter I carry, a little, little strainer that expands, and my salad spinner that actually expands. And that all lives in the microwave. And for my spices, I just used an, a CD case that holds these really good. And so I can just pull out what I need. I have all of my teas and extra teas, spices and my salt and pepper, and everything fits in this one drawer really nice. I carry odds and ends back here. Um, and, and in the bottom drawer, I like these. I've had them forever. I had them before I moved in the RV, so you can tuck, nest, nest them in each other, and I do when I need to keep my drawers in here. I carry mostly glass. These I've carried, I have carried for quite a while. They're little expandable silicone, uh, storage containers for leftover food. I carry a glass of old guy, had it, so that's what I carry, and it hasn't broken yet. And I carry a couple metal pans for my solar cooker. And that's in the bottom one. It all stays pretty nice without breakage. And I can pretty much keep it from not rattling. The biggest problem is these drawers do not stay closed. So I have replaced the brackets from the factory many times. I am trying to think of a different solution. Tip number three, use as much vertical space as possible. As you can see coming up, I found a way to make that work. And behind the TV, I actually did replace this TV. It was a little bitty old uh, 12 volt TV. So this is a, a Samsung regular power, so unless I'm plugged in somewhere, I don't watch it, which is pretty much all the time. And I put it on, I rack myself, went, uh, put a supporting board behind this bracket here, and that way I can swing tilt my TV out. And with the space that was behind that you could not access before, I put on my owner's manuals for the RV, I actually have little tool bags, uh, parts supplies, and then little extra things that I'm working on up here. So I carry this little tool kit. It has the most used items in here. And the best part about this one, I'm going to do this one-handed, is it just zips right up. 
So zips right up, not a problem. And I just keep these up in this basket and then close the TV up. And it's all out of the way and I don't have to worry about it. So that's how I store all of that. Tip number four, use baskets and bags for the small stuff. As you can see, I use bigger baskets and then smaller bags with light kind of stuff in it. And it makes it a lot easier to keep all those small items in place where you need them. Next compartment over, I found something that would cover this because these lights on this radio never turn off and so at night it puts a glow through here so I found some artwork to throw in there and I use these little sticker guys clip on remote controls in here and I keep a cord hooked in so when I want to hook up my iPod to it I can hook my iPod right up to it and uh, right at the entrance here I put up some little hooks so I can hook up my keys for the vehicle at night and I just put the little command hooks up here. In this cabinet I carry most of my books. This is all I carry. Uh, bird books, national park guide, gluten-free cooking, which I don't really use so I think I'm going to have to get rid of that. And I carry office supplies up here so I can actually just pull this stuff out when I need to and it doesn't come out very often. I try to avoid it. I keep all my music books in here, which is pretty nice. I'm actually going to try to get back into playing music here soon. Well, folks, leave in the comments what you think. If you have any other tips, leave them in the comments and share it with everybody that's watching this video. Thank you for joining me this week. Remember, subscribe to that channel. Hit that little subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks again. We'll catch you next week, folks.